What's up guys and welcome back to another episode on the Chameleon Craft server. This is episode something because I can't remember and I'm silly like that. But, right, basically I came on the server the uh, earlier and I had plans to record and make a lovely little river uh, like this here with a waterfall running up and around this way. However, there's a dirt hut in the way which I did not build and there's a cow inside with a few signs. So let's read this. It appears a shady, shady. It appears a shady creature has decided to set up his residence in your little area. You must be careful not to annoy him. Cow, move! You must. <laughs> ah, I've lost my track. You must be careful not to annoy him, or there may be some presents left around. Be careful and stay safe, Luke. Hello. Oh. So. Am I not meant to annoy you? Because I kind of want to move this hut. <laughs> but if I move you, then bad things happen and I get presents. Presents can be good, though, can't they? Presents can be amazing. But uh, I don't like the idea of, uh, in inverted commas, presents. Hmm. Well, we'll have to uh, leave that for a bit and see what happens. But uh, in this episode, I thought I would basically make a nether portal over here, seeing as we have now a nether portal at spawn, uh, which you probably saw last episode if I'm uploading these in the right order. Um, and what I want to do is set up a nether portal somewhere here and set up a little uh, hub system. So literally I just pop in the portal, go through the nether, get in the other portal, get to spawn. Now it shouldn't be too far because, I mean it is in walking distance, um, so it should only be about 50 or maybe 100 blocks in uh, in the nether, which isn't actually too bad, especially if I set up a little ma uh, minecart, and, and they go really quick now as well. But uh, I also recorded a little time lapse of uh, me recor uh, bit recording spawn, uh, rebuilding spawn, because uh, someone blew up the town hall again. Uh, so I thought I'd use that as like a little uh, transition to me in the nether and building stuff, because I don't actually have any uh, uh, obsidian on me at the moment, so I need to go through and get. Or go underground and get quite a bit. There's also, I think I'm going to be using a website as well that helps you with uh, nether portals. And I've never done it on my own before. I've only done it with professionals. Well, not professionals, you know, pros. Um, so I'm probably going to get it wrong. So enjoy the little time lapse of me building. It may only be short. Depends. If it's not there, then I apologise. Uh, you're not missing out much. It's just me running around building stuff. So yeah. Uh, also, I build a path here. Yeah, that's about it. Um, anyway, enough rambling and on to the time lapse. I'll tell you what, that took longer than expected. I couldn't find any lava down there at all. I had to keep mining with my uh, through my strip mine to find lava. I found this little 2x2 two two area, mined that, I had to keep going, and then eventually found a massive lava lake. So there you go, I've got 20 now. Um, so, as far as I'm aware, what you have to do for this is make a portal in the overworld, uh, light it, but you don't go through it. Um, let's concentrate on this. 
quickly because I don't want to make a mistake and have to mine it. So you do that and then you light it. And then what you have to do is take the coordinates down of the portal, which may be a bit of a problem actually because I've already lit it. And you meant to take it from inside. Um, okay, so what, what 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 goes up by one? So f X is 46 and the rest is the same. So X is, don't mind me, I'm just trying to write down coordinates, 46. Y is 75. And Z is 742. Nice. Awesome. So I'm going to go on a website and um, check out. Actually, no, what I'm going to do first is go over to spawn and get into the nether. Um, and then get off the website and then put it into the calculator. Also, actually, quickly while I'm talking. Uh, I always talk, don't I? Anyway. Um, I have a new microphone. You may be able to tell. Uh, it's a blue snowball. Ice. It's the ice version. It's the cheaper version. And sup, Mr. Witch? Uh, oh, you bitch. I swear that sped me up. It felt like it did anyway. Slowness. Okay, so we can't run for a bit. Um, but it's the Blue Snowball Ice. It's the cheaper version out of the two or three Blue Snowballs. Because there's uh, the Blue Snowball, the Blue Snowball Ice, and there's the black version. Uh, the only difference with that is it's black. Uh, but the uh, Blue Snowball normal one has uh, three options where you can change it from omnidirectional to cardioid. I believe that this one is just cardioid. Um, or cardioid. Um, and it, to be honest, it sounds pretty good. The only problem I've had with it so far is the fact that it sits on my wooden desk, which the same desk that my keyboard sits on, and also my uh, computer. So it does pick up the vibration slightly. But I did kind of fix that by um, uh, putting one of my beanie hats <laughs> underneath it. So it kind of softens the uh, the vibrations a bit. However, you can probably still hear my space bar going. But um, I'm going to get an adapter for it soon, so I can put it on a mic stand and have it freely in front of my face. It is blocking the screen a tiny bit as well. So uh, apart from that, it's really good and definitely recommend it. It's definitely worth uh, the money. So let's uh, actually let's take care of these guys. I've, I've spoken and managed to actually get to um, spawn. Go on. Go on. Record. Record. Go on. Record. Get the record. Get the record. Get it. Oh, oh damn it. That would have been cool if it... Oh god, this is going to be fun. Nice. That would have been cool if I got a record. I need to make a record maker soon. They're really cool to do. You still need some like redstone and stuff in there, like a really big open area. Okay, so <laughs> I've spoken so much that I'm at spawn. I was going to do a cut, but um, obviously uh, I'm too pro for that. But uh, Oh, yeah, this is really cool. I think you saw this in another uh, episode, but uh, Crack did this, and I think this is his as well. Which is, I think, a fair trade. Holy crap, he's made a lot of diamonds. I actually may need to... Oh, no, you take the diamonds. So you give the iron. 32 iron, 4 1 diamond. I may have to come over here and actually do some of that, because that's a really good deal. I need some diamonds as well. So let's go into Tut Nether and uh, see... Oh, hey, man. Whoa. So many diamonds. Jesus, man. You are pimped out. How the... Jeez, man. And he's got a horse. We're at 12. You're a freaking pimp, man. Could you look at my horse? My horse is amazing. Alright, let's uh, go into the nether and get started okay well there may be a slight problem here so I found uh, the portal obviously in the nether the main one you can just about see it down there and pretty much I needed some mine up uh, to get to uh, Y uh, 75 and I also had to get to Z 92 which isn't a problem uh, Z 92 I'm at here which is this block here however Y needs to go up a bit now I don't know if the Y actually matters um, so, I don't know whether to test it with it being down there or not at first, which I'm very tempted to do, because I'm not sure it does actually matter. Because uh, the only reason I'm going by this is because on Minecraft, all the portals seem to be on the same level, uh, with no ups or downs. So let's go, so it's here, and I need to go, so that should be fine there, so let's have a go at this. 
Uh, if it is wrong, then I will have to um, obviously break down the portal and do it again. Oops, that's another rack. Which will suck, but here we go. So if this is right, I'm going to expand the portal that way to make it 3 by 2 So here we go. Let's hope it works. Please, 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 please. Woohoo! So it does work. So why doesn't it actually matter then? Because I put it in the calculator, you have to do X, Y, and Z, and the Y was exactly the same as it is here in the nether. So, I'm guessing you don't actually have to uh, do anything with the, uh, with the... Oh, awesome, so it does work. Nice. That saves me a lot of time, doing all that. Well, yeah, screw this. Cover this back up. Oh, my God. Well, that's it done. That, that was easier than expected. I thought it was going to be harder than that. There we go. So hang on, if it if it doesn't matter, then what's the point in this staircase? Why don't I just right? I'm moving this down because I I don't want to go up this staircase down there. I'm going in line with that portal, so all I've got to do is go in a straight line. So here we are at the bottom. Uh, we're directly below where we were originally. So all I've got to do now is place the portal, and hopefully this will work. Um, no reason why it shouldn't work, to be honest. Uh, so what is it? I don't know why I'm doing it in an odd number. Uh, it is Z92, which is this one here. And if I remember, I did it like this. So uh, when I measured it, it was the right side of the portal. I don't think it matters, but um, you know, OCD sake. Uh, so there we go. That should be it. Please work, please work, please work, please work. <laughs> Oh god. And it Oh it did do it again, yes! So that's it done. That is awesome. Just set up a portal link. Woo! So that should work then if I go through this. I'm in the nether. And then all I've got to do is run down this tunnel here. This is so. This is so much more quicker. Apologise for the space bar pressing as well, but boom, and we're here. Look at that, that's awesome. And I don't really need that to be like that, do I? I could just like that. Awesome. Cool. So uh, that's pretty much this episode done. I'm gonna label it. Um. And oh god, crack. What's that? Now I can arrive faster at your house and prank you. Oh god. But thank you very much for watching. I'm going to do some stuff off camera, maybe label it and make it look a bit nicer. And yes, thank you very much for watching. And subscribe and like and all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time.